Hi, welcome to our first vlog ever. Super exciting. <laughs> so we heard that we're supposed to drink shots to make this a little bit easier um, to loosen up or whatever. So cheers, cheers. to... Cheers, do you want one too? What are we cheersing to? Our first vlog ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cheers. Mm. Vodka. Vodka. Anyways. I'm Vicky and I'm Ricky and we're twins and you might have seen us on TV before as the Icky Twins which we still are the Icky Twins but um, we kind of were more of the Icky Twins back then but anyways where the name Icky Twins comes from uh, it's not because we're Icky because as you can see we're pretty not Icky <laughs> but we used to work together and people couldn't tell us apart so instead of them saying like hey Vicky be like, oh wait, I'm not Vicky, I'm Ricky. And then be like, hey, Ricky. Like, no, that's not me, that's not how. Anyways, um, everybody they... started calling us Icky. So it was like, hey, Icky. Yeah, hey. Oh, there you go. She was fine. need some more fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, because we were waitresses. So there's uh, the fries thing came in. But we were also on a TV show. It was on MTV. It was called The Double Shot Love, uh, starring the Icky Twins. And it was a dating show. And since. That show aired in 2009, 2010. We have since been replaced by none other than the Jersey Shores, Polly D and Vinny. Which, by the way, Snooki got all of our clothes from that show when they started doing. She did the Jersey Shore. It was devastating because we saw her wear all of our stuff. Was, How is she fitting into this? Really, I don't understand. Anyways, sorry because we're <laughs> all very small people. She was a little bit bigger back then, but you know she's small. She's a meatball. Though. Anyways. Well, nine <laughs> okay. more. Okay, she's, anyway. Or she's a smaller meatball. The alcohol is working. <laughs> anyway, so we were on that show, and um, we're not on that show anymore, which is a good thing because it was a lot of work kissing all those people, and we retired that whole aspect of our lives, I believe. Well, I mean, I guess she has. She's married now. I'm still kissing people. Anywho. <laughs> Did you see that? Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. What? Anyways. <laughs> so everything was going great. We're on the show. We were traveling a lot for TV stuff. We were doing appearances here and there and magazines and everything was awesome until... Uh, Wait, how'd the show end now? Oh, the show? Did you forget? It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up picking the same person at the end and that was a guy named Trevor. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> Anyways, if you're watching Trevor, I hope you're doing good in New Jersey and you have a bar now. That's freaking dope because we used to have that too until a bad other bad thing happened. But let's talk about the first bad thing. Uh, first bad thing was a divorce. No, no, no. The other bad things. things. Oh, so I was in a car accident. Uh, 2010. Yeah, just right mm -hmm. after the show, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was put into a medically induced coma. Because my brain was bleeding out and the blood said nowhere to go. So they cut off your skull and put you in a coma and let you sit there while the swelling goes down. So I woke up after five days and it was really scary because someone had to tell me what had happened. And my first reaction was just like my favorite movie at that time, Fifty First Dates. And uh, when they told me that was a car accident, I said, how many times has it happened? Or how many times have you told me this? Can you write up my arm so I can wake up tomorrow and remember it? And they were like, oh no, don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow to tell you again. But that was the first and the only time I had to be told because I had my memory back. And it was a long process and a lot of therapy, but I learned how to walk again. I learned how to talk again. I learned how to move my arms again. And here I am sitting here in front of you guys today. Besides a, a, a small scar, can we, can we see that? I mean, it's actually a massive scar. Yeah, but I've but. had a lot of surgery to fix the things. Oh, and then you can see this too. Oh, can you? Yeah, it's a little divot. That's from all the fake bone substitute that they put over to cover up all the atrophying, your bone strength and stuff from healing. Anyways. So, after the car accident, we fortunately had both met two really great guys and got married. Hey. <laughs> it's a hug. 
And we moved to Washington, which was awesome. Spoken, what's yeah, up? Yeah, shout out everybody. Uh, we opened a bar there, uh, our baby called The Blind Buck. And it was a prohibition type bar, love of our lives. Um, went on to open the bar next door. Um, that is sheeted at this point. I was already pieced out to Hawaii because my uh -huh. husband told me that he was having an affair in so many words. Like, he didn't tell me like that, but it, he was having an affair. Long story short, why are we here today? We are here today because we've been talking recently about everything that we've accomplished in our lives and the titles that we have, like college graduate, world traveler, twins, bar owners, daughters. Uh, TV oh, stars, recovery, survivor, survivor. <laughs> that's the word, dog moms, um, so many wonderful things that define us, aunts, aunties, sisters, all those things, and then the one that like kind of hit us like, this isn't a good thing, is divorce, divorcees, so, divorce, divorcees. Is that how you say it? Divorcees. Yeah, we're divorced. We're divorced. So, anyways, not a great word. You feel like a failure. You feel like people think that you're damaged goods. You feel um, judged. You don't feel empowered. It's something that leaves you feeling like you're not good enough. Less than. Less, Less than. than yeah. Yeah. And we were wondering how we could change this narrative in a world right now that you know, women are getting a, a bigger voice than ever and becoming and more and more empowered every day. How can we empower women like us that have so much shame in a name that shouldn't define us in a bad way? Like you meet a girl that's a guy that says he's divorced and like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool, whatever. He's been married. He's not afraid of commitment. You meet a woman that's been divorced and you're like, ooh, what's wrong with you? Why didn't he want you? What did you do wrong? And all these things, like, were you not satisfying the bed. Did so to change the narrative, we decided that we wanted to speak more about putting some yays in divorce and making it a positive thing, or at least giving women something positive to hold on to and celebrate the wins. Because when you're going through this, it does feel like you're losing all the time. Like you can't do anything right. And no one understands. There's no one to talk to. So we decided to change the word from divorce A or divorce E or whatever it is to divorce. Yay. Jazz hands. Yeah. It's a very, it's a yay thing. So basically we want to reach out to anybody that's going through divorce and so they can have a shoulder to cry on twin shoulders uh, from people that have been through it before. And we had each other through this whole process and we realized that we were actually really lucky for that. Even though we didn't know how to help each other, we still at least had each other. So having gone through it and then having us here to help you and just be a shoulder to cry and or somebody to talk to, um, that's what we're here for. So if you want to throw any comments down here and just tell us what you want to talk about, what you are going through, we're going to try to like touch base on all these things and how to empower you as you're going through probably one of the hardest times of your life. What people don't understand is even with my car accident and having all that stuff happen to me um, and that was a long recovery process. Like I wasn't probably a hundred percent for maybe a year after the accident. Or longer actually. But if you ask me what the most horrible thing that's I've ever been through and you know, thank God I haven't lost anybody super important to me, but the hardest thing that I've ever been through is going through my divorce because you feel so discarded and unwanted. And it's the biggest challenge that you're going to go through. So if I feel like coming out of it, you should feel like, you are better than when you were before. And for and a long time, we were afraid to talk about it because we thought, like, we're failures. Like, this, you know, we didn't really like ourselves. But like, we didn't like ourselves for a while, right? And, yeah. like, we were talking about it. We so love like, yourself through it. Yeah. Like, why? that's the biggest advice is find positives and love yourself through it. But more importantly, we just want to, like, be there for you. And hopefully uh, this vlog finds you in a not so horrible place like we were and you're optimistic because it does get better and we're hopefully here to guide you through that and what you're going through i studied psychology for a little bit and it's grief you're grieving a a death of a relationship and there's many stages that you go through and they're all completely normal and it starts with denial anger bargaining depression and finally acceptance so 
no matter where you are, like along that path. Just embrace where you are and know that it's a challenge, but you're gonna get through it. Anyways, that's enough talking. And we have a lot of fun getting through it too. We have, for today. We have some fun getting through it. And we hope that you watch more of our videos on empowering you and helping through so you can become a divorce. Yay! We are twitting. Is that tacky? We don't know. It was Vicky's <laughs> idea. I didn't want to do it. The little matching dresses. They are very cheap. Looks kind of cute. Matching hair today. Not supposed to wear stripes on TV, but this isn't TV, is it? Um, yeah, it's TV.